Okay, what I'd like to do is to introduce you to the Leader Light Psyker Armour Unit. First time it's actually been shown in the UK. The only Psyker Armour Light that's actually designed with a proper asymmetric reflector. Concept being that it replaces directly the conventional Psyker Armour Lights that everybody's used to. As you see, it's a relatively compact unit, lightweight, around 5 kilos. Equivalent electrical power is between 75 and 150 watts. And it comes in a variety of formats to suit the different markets, whether it be theatre or television. What we're showing here is a television product specifically designed for TV studios where we have an R, a G and a V LED and also two white LEDs which are colour temperature corrected for television use at 3200 degrees Kelvin. The concept is that you can use them in exactly the same way that you would normally like Cyprama. So here, which we'll show you in a minute, a typical application of a fixture, approximately one and a half metres away from Cyprama. Typical height of that Cyprama might be four or five metres high. And if you want to, there's no reason why you can't use them as we're using them here on the floor to uplight, or why they can't be mounted on a bar lighting downwards. The unit can be joined together by virtue of, if you have a very large arena, for example, that you want it to light, the unit is easily detachable from its base and immediately becomes just a straightforward lighting unit that you can then bolt up to an equivalent unit such as this that might house a number of them. Or in television, we tend to use a thing called a pole operated yoke. That means that you can pan and tilt the unit remotely by means of a pole. So, okay, so the design concept, as you see, is to have a light source, just like you would have in a tungsten unit and then an asymmetric reflector to say that the light bounces and then travels downwards onto the side rama. This particular unit has a plastic reflector which has a very, very high reflectance level and also in the same point as trying to reflect as much light, what we're also doing is trying to control the amount of light so it doesn't go in um, wide, very wide angles. To help with that process, we have a diffuser which mounts on the front of the unit which does a number of things. It controls the angular dispersion of the light and it also controls the softness. In addition, we can change the diffusion material and we can use a Fresnel type material so that we can actually direct the light in a vertical direction we can direct the light in a horizontal direction and that just clips into the front of the reflector that you see here. Okay, what we're now going to show you is the light powered up. What you're seeing is the R version of the LED combination then mixed through. So you see green, you see blue. You'll notice the dispersion is wide. The angular coverage is very high. So in a very short distance, typically, one to one and a half meters, we're actually able to light a very large area. Now, the unit we're showing today is a five LED unit where we've got R, G, and B. And we've also got two tungsten color temperature LEDs, so typically 3,200. And what Julius is going to show us now is the ability that we have remotely via DMX to vary the colour temperature. So what you should see on camera is you should notice your white balance is changing because we're going to start at 3-2-ish and then we're going to move across the spectrum towards the blue end, towards daylight. So your camera's probably gone a bit haywire now, is it? Yeah. It's changing. It's changing, good. Okay. So the idea being that it's usable both in studios and out of studios. It's important because the modern TV programme 
likes to vary, it seems, the colour temperature on the face. They like to warm it up a little bit. So you watch shows such as uh, Breakfast in the Morning, it's a bit warm. You watch shows at lunchtime, very much towards the sort of standard. And then again in the evening, things like the one show, you notice that they get a bit warmer. Units like this with slight variation enable you to dramatically vary the colour temperature. Importantly, the size is very small. The price is very competitive, the list price in the UK, as I understand it, is £1,400, which means that you're replacing a much larger, more expensive unit with a lightweight unit that's consistent. You don't have problems with gel, you can select the colour every time. Unit to unit, the consistency is there.